All right, welcome back to um, let's play Zelda Majora's Mask. We just rewound time, uh, got our ocarina back, and we were going to talk to this happy chap. And oops, hold on. I'm gonna change. So that this is that, and this is that. Right? Save. Perfect. Much better for me. <clears throat> Were you able to recover your precious item from that imp? Oh, oh, oh! You got it! You got it! You got it! You got it! Then listen to me. Play. Please play this song that I am about to perform and remember it well. I want to kind of talk like... Pegasus from Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Link, my boy. Follow along after me. You know, I'm going to play this song. But let me just say that there are a few songs that can make me feel somber and reminisce and sad. And this is one of those songs. And, and it just... The cutscenes that play with this song is so beautiful, and it's like I always feel like a part of me is just ripped out, and I feel sad. But let's just get on with it. I didn't like the way my hair looked. It made my face look pale and ill, and it shows off my big chin, and I hate my chin, but... This is a melody that heals evil magic and troubled spirits, turning them into masks. I am sure it will be of assistance to you in the future. Ah, uh, yes. I give you this mask in commemoration of this day. Fear not, for the ma magic has been sealed inside the mask. When you wear it, you will transform into the shape you just were. When you remove it, you will return to normal. You got the deco mask to keep as a memento. Press start and set it to the C buttons on the select item screen. Wear the mask with the C to inhabit the body of a Deku. Deku. Press C again to return to normal. <laughs> now I have fulfilled my promise to you. So, please, give me that which you promised me. You could see it looks like, oh. Don't tell me. My mask. You did get it back, didn't you? Whoo! That's just so freaky of a face. Ah! What have you done to me? gonna have shaken baby syndrome over here. If you leave my mask out there, something terrible will happen. Stupid fat hobbits. The mask that was stolen from me. It is called Majora's Mask. <laughs> it is an accursed item from legend that is said to have been used by an ancient tribe in its hexing rituals. <clears throat> It is said that an evil and wicked power is bestowed upon the one who wears that mask. According to legend, the troubles caused by Majora's mask were so great. The ancient ones, fearing such a catastrophe, sealed the mask in shadow forever, preventing its misuse. But now, that tribe from legend has vanished, so no one really knows the true nature of the mask's power. But I feel it. I went to great lengths to get that legendary mask. When I finally had it, I could sense the doom of a dark omen brewing. It was that unwelcome feeling that makes your hair stand on end. 
and now that imp has it. I am begging you that you must get you must get the mask back quickly or something horrible will happen. I am begging you, I'm begging you, you must do it. Really? You'll do it for me? I was certain you would tell me that. You'll be fine. Surely you can do it. Believe in your strengths. Believe. What an oddball. Let... Well, you notice time does not pass in here. We cannot die in this place. Time doesn't exist in this place. How or why, I don't know. But it's an interesting situation because I believe this is the only place where time does not tick. What we're going to do is play it backwards. Oops. I forgot that I had it set back. So you play that song that we just learned backwards, and we can slow time down at du uh, at half the speed. Oh, we have to go outside. Time doesn't get affected here. Sorry. That mask, the Skull Kid uses the power of that mask to do those terrible things. Well, whatever it takes, we've got to do something about it. The swamp, mountains, ocean, and canyon that Tail was trying to tell us about. I bet he was referring to those four areas just outside of town. There's one in each compass direction. But what do you suppose he meant by the four who are there? I have no idea. He always skips important stuff. I guess we should, should just go and find out. If we go through that gate straight ahead, we'll be heading in the direction of the swamp. Oops. I... I... Ugh. There we go. <clears throat> now we can slow it down. Yes. Alright, now if I'm not mistaken, we also had... Oh, this is a save point or a warp point. You can temporarily save your time and progress. Uh, to officially do a save, you have to rewind time back to day one, and that's the way that you save the game. But this is more like a checkpoint, I guess you could say, type of save. It forces you to quit playing, and the moment you load up your save, that checkpoint disappears. So it's like a, alright, well, I have to go run errands, so like I'll just checkpoint save there and then come back to it, right? Whereas a save save is like, no, I, w I want my progress to be, like, held on here, uh, for a while, so. Did I not... Hmm. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, we have to, uh, help the fairy out as a kid. Young one, please hear my plea. You have been broken and shattered. I have been broken and shattered to pieces by the Skull Kid. Please find the one stray fairy lost in town and bring her to the fairy fountain. I believe the fairy is in a different spot than before. The first one was in the wash area. That little pond. I think this one is in... East Clock Town? Mm. I guess we'll just quickly go and find out. I don't know. Yeah, let's try over here. I think I think the fairy is over here. Maybe. Um Or was that only at night time? How did that work? Honestly, I have no idea. Let's just get this first cutscene set. Every time you get a new transformation mask, you use it. it it's gotta go through the freaky animation. I can't skip this yet, but I can soon. I don't know if that... So, uh, is that implying that that hurts Link, I wonder? I don't know. But it always freaks me out, and some of them are even more freakier than the others, so... What does this do? I think that just leads to the top floor of the hotel. Oops. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. 
We don't really need to get access to their hideout anymore, but we do want the bomber's notebook, so... Let's get some money. <laughs> and we'll get the bomber's notebook so we can start tracking our side quests. 100 rupees, we're pretty happy. I'm pretty stoked. Pretty enamored. Oh, the cat's making another guest appearance. Hi, Tessie. She likes my attention at inappropriate times. Namely, at four in the morning when I'm sleeping. Don't ya, you little poop. Yeah. So is the fairy here? Oh, well. Why did- was I- con is it a nighttime situation? I swear that that fairy was in that- in the sky in East Clock Town. <clears throat> but I mean, I don't know. Yeah. You wanna say hi, Tessie? Wanna say hi? She's purring. And she's laying on my leg now. She's just cute as heck. Um, yeah, I know. Um, so, I think we have to do that mini game all over again, but before we talk to this, I think we have, okay, so we have to pop the bubble and then start the mini game as Kid Link. Right? I think. <clears throat> so we, because there's no way to pop the bubble right now. So we take off this. I want to know, can you do side quests without the bomber's notebook? Or is that just for like making it easier to remember what time things happen? Are you the guy that just popped that up there? Whoa. Hey, just for you, guy, I can make you a member of our gang, the bombers. But there is a test for becoming the bombers. Come on, give it a try. Are you ready? It's the same test as before, so we just have to hide and seek these kids and they hide in the same spot. If you can find all five of us by tomorrow morning, I'll teach you our secret code. Ready? Okay, well, there's two here, so... Uh... Don't... you know, whatever. Find two of you all at once. There's one. I hate you. Get your little ass over here. Oh, come on. Now I gotcha. You just kind of wait and they run into you at that point because they panic and just randomly move. They have nowhere to go, so eventually they'll bump into you at that point. Okay. Let's get our mini slash or mini spin <laughs> freaky laugh <laughs> I have to go get my meds after this episode I think oh tattle and you kind young one Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the great fairy of magic. For now, this is all I can offer you. Please allow me to ease your weariness as a token of my gratitude. <clears throat> you have so much shedding fur, cat. Oh, kind young one. Scattered throughout the four temples of this land are broken stray fairies like me. Please find a way to save them and return them to their fountains. Surely they will add, your add to your strength. Allow me to grant you something good, so that stray fairies will not fear you. <clears throat> Great fairy mask. Uh, if the mask hair mask's hair begins to shimmer, that means that there's a fairy in the room that we are currently in. Come see me whenever your quest has made you weary. Freaky. 
creaky laugh. Stay away from, stay away from kid boys, boy kids. <clears throat> Oops. Okay. Let's go on and get the. Oh well. I don't need the swamp one. I think you can get it cheaper. Can I get the swamp one cheaper from Tingle at the swamp? Is there a Tingle at the swamp? I don't remember. I don't know. It's not like I need the money anyway, but... Well, let's just get these kids out of the way. Tessie is seriously, like, nudging me. She does not want me to not pay attention to her. You caught me! Only two left! Mm. Yeah, they had in the same spots. They're so original. The one that's holding the bird, uh, the cuckoo, I believe- hold up, hold up, hold up. I was gonna say, I can see the texture, uh... No, that's not what I wanted to do. <clears throat> I kinda wanted to- dang it. I wanted to see if I could see that smoke's texture. Of course the sun glare would beam through. Yeah, you can see the smoke's, like... The image diagonal, I guess you could say. <clears throat> oh, he already just kind of ran off. You just gung ho that little. Ah, uh, come on. Well, he'll hide in a box if we wait long enough. Because, you know, he sucks at life like that. Come on. Here we go, we gotcha. <laughs> One left. And they are right there. Can I bump into it? Will you just jump off? No. We have to go up. Up and around. Alright. Oh, that's the one that hides eventually. There we go. No way, you finally got me. Finally? I... What? You didn't even land yet. So what's your name, guy? Lonk, huh? Alright, that's go kid broke our rules and has been doing all kinds of bad things lately. Starting today, he's out. I'm making Lonk a bomber. You guys don't mind, right? No, right. Oh, right. Sorry. This is the bomber's notebook. It contains the words we live by. Read it over. Allows you to keep track of people's schedules. Press the start and the quest to status. Blah, blah, notebook. Find troubled people and add their names and pictures. Only 20 people will fit in your book. Promise to help them. Mark promises with promise stickers. Never be late with fulfilling your promises. Whenever you solve someone's problem, it makes you happy. So a happy sticker would be added to your notebook. No removing stickers. Use promise stickers to keep track of people until everyone is happy. Don't forget the rules. Alright then, I'll teach you our secret code. Ready? It's the same code as before. Uh, so the code is random. It's generated in the order that you find the kids the first time around, right? Like, and after that, you could find the kids... So when you're first a Deku kid, the order that you find them dictates the order of the numbers, which is the code. And after that, um... Yeah, the code stays the same. So, like, this... I could find them in a different order, and the code would be the same as the first time. You were taught the secret code. This is added to your notebook. I want to know if this renders. I guess there is some setting problems where this might not render. I don't know. Um. Oh, it renders just fine. Okay. Well. <clears throat> Let's make our way on over to the swamp. What time? Twenty minutes. So we got ten minutes. Uh. I don't need to worry about depositing the money yet. I'd rather keep it in case I need to buy something. I got the doggo. What is the dog used for? Let me think something quick. Do I have... Is there anything to do in this town? Is that a treasure chest that I didn't grab? Oops. It is. 
but how do you oh we have to oh okay so we have to get that Deku scrubs thing all over again and then it's up there and over in that little nook and cranny you can see it right there yeah you can see the treasure chest right above the A button okay well I'm not gonna worry about it Stop right there. Have you some errand in the swamp? It is dangerous outside the town wall, so I cannot allow a child like you to... A sword? My apologies, sir. It was wrong of me to treat you like a child. The southern swamp at Woodfall lies in this direction. Be careful. Okay. That's nice. Get out of my way. <clears throat> that bird that was just in view? Steer clear of him. He's a dick. A dick. An absolute unit. You can hear him squawking too. So, here's where the game opens up into the world, but really it's pretty linear. You, you have to kind of do things in a certain order, but it's not a bad thing. This game is interesting in that, you, you know, you think, oh no, there's only four temples. Just you wait and see. Just you wait and see. Those temples are daunting, and, and the things to get to the temples also take time and, and energy. <clears throat> oh, I remember this. Tail and I drew this with the Skull Kid when we first met him. He told us that he had been fighting with his friends, and that they had left him all alone. this game at some point doesn't make you feel a little bit sad even, you're heartless. Like, oh, so many moments about this game just makes me feel sad. I don't know if he's crying there, but he's at least cold and shivering. Now they're keeping him warm. Iron Giant. little fairies. I'm sure it was because he was always playing tricks, so nobody wanted to play with him. But to do that, to do what he just, he did just because of that. Once he got his power... We can fill it in, but let's slash this to get some money. And stay away from that bird, because if that bird gets us, we lose our sword. He's an absolute biatch. Pardon my French. <laughs> oh good, there is a tingle here. The choo-choo, ever supplying us with magic if we should need them. Useless hearts, I guess. Was there a heart piece to these pieces? What? There was something about this tree. I don't remember what it was. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, there's a heart piece, but I don't remember how to get it. Oh, you climb it. Oh, 
Do I need the bone arrow? Ah! No, I am determined to getting this without. There we go. Let's get that piece of heart. <clears throat> Easy peasy, right? Got a piece of heart, we've collected two, two more, and we got... What is down here? What is down here? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't. It's just money. And digging nuts. And bugs. Which do bugs do something on this game? I don't remember. We got a Deku stick. We can burn it or use it as a weapon. <laughs> do, do bugs do something on this game? I don't remember. Got 20 rupees. It's whatever. It'll buff. Five rupees. Sure. We need money. <laughs> oh shoot, I forgot to take my med. One of my meds. Sorry. Okay. Ah. There we go. I'm not going to read this guy's dialogue, it's the same no matter what. God, I wish I could skip all this dialogue. Yes, I'll buy one of your maps. Woodfall. Yippee. Mm-hmm. Okay. I will not steal them. You do not have to worry about that. What? It's over here. What is over there? Is that the Lon Lon Ranch situation? I don't... I don't remember. Southern Swamp. This is where we're supposed to be. 27 minutes in. Can I do something? Thinking about it, I should have gotten that deed because then I could have gotten another piece of heart. So I think I'm going to go back to town and do that really quick. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. We've got time, though, so let's just go ahead and... We have to buy a tour, right? I don't know. Is there something that gets me a piece of heart if I take a picture of it? Nick knows. I don't remember. Nick, if you're watching this episode and you remember what I have to take a picture of, let me know in the comments because I'm not going to look it up. Playing hooky again. The child his age has no business searching for fairies. Tingle is his kid. Um. <clears throat> welcome. <laughs> well then, why don't you show me the pictograph you've taken? Um... This is your first time entering the pictograph contest? Well, the Swamp Tourist Center is currently holding a pictograph contest. It's open to all ages, from children to adults. For nice pictographs taken in the swamp, a free boat cruise will be awarded as a special prize. So, would you like to enter our contest? Oh, but to enter, you first must take the boat cruise. Boat cruise reservations are handled at the window over there. If you're interested, go for a ride. <clears throat> I think we have to talk to Coom or Kotake. Old Coom tickets closed. Please inquire at the Magic Higgs potion shop near the edge of the swamp. That's right, she's off in the swamp. So we have to go find Old Coom. I think we're going to end the episode off here. Off screen, I'm going to go back and get the title deed. You have to just kind of go in that old man's thing, get the moon's tear to fall back down. And, um... And then, you know, give it to that dick who scrub in the city. 
I'm going to get the treasure chest in there, which is probably just money. And then I'll come back to this spot and we'll pick up the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. We'll guess, bleh, we will see you guys next episode, whenever that is. I'm not keeping an internal calendar. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.